everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use and install a zipper foot. So this is our standard zipper foot. This is the left side and the right side. The left side, so the two things you'll see about this is got one big bar. When you're working on the left side of the zipper, you clamp your shank right here. Right side, you clamp your shank right here. And as you can see, it has this opening that lets you get as close to the zipper as you can without snagging the teeth. So let's go ahead and install it, take off the foot you already have. And clamp it on. This is one side. You go ahead and lift it up and you can just push it right over onto the other side. Okay, so right now we're gonna prep our zipper to be sewn on. So I've got two pieces of fabric. Um, fold it over already. If you're gonna, if your fabric frays, which this one does, um, you might want to serge the ends or zigzag the ends before you even put it onto the zipper. So I put it on like right here. Ideally, you would baste the zipper in place first, but for demonstrations, I'm just gonna pin it in. And when we get it over to the machine, our standard zipper is gonna sew right along this edge so that it catches the top fabric and the zipper without messing up any of the metal teeth. So here we go. So I've already sewed the one side just to show you the different widths you can do. So right here, I've sewn really, really close, very narrow. Back here, you can move it out a little bit further and you're still getting a nice even stitch. It just depends how close you want it. If you're too afraid that it's not gonna nick the fabric, if you want more of the blue of the zipper showing, it's all personal preference. Either way, you're lining right up against the metal zipper and it's looking neat. Um, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unzip this, which I, I did for the other side too. I unzipped it first. Make sure that your zipper foot is in is on the right side of the bar so you can see right here I have this little notch right here that's lining up with the metal teeth of the zipper this would be for really really close or you can go out just a little bit further and it'll glide right along this edge um, either way you just want to make sure you have either this side of the bar see that wouldn't work so you can see it works on this side and lines up right nice. So, like I said, ideally you would have this basted in already, but we're just gonna go ahead and cheat. So here we go. Do a couple of back stitches. So see, right now the metal teeth is going along this outside corner. If I wanted it a little closer, I'll just move it closer. This is so you don't have much of the blue zipper showing. Or you can go a little bit further back to the outside. As you get to this big bulk of the zipper, gonna have to just move it a little bit on the outside back stitch and there you go you have a zipper sewn in um, you can also go across right here if you want to you can stitch right across here if you feel like it um, depending on your project this might be inserted and covered up into a different seam so there you go, perfect. So the cool thing about a standard zipper foot is it really helps you get into any situation where you have a really, really close edge to get to. So like if I wanted to put this big cord on a piece of fabric, I need my zipper foot. So, or you can do it by hand, but who wants to do that? So you put it in here, get it real cl as close as you can, and you can sew right there like this or you could move your foot over to be right along the edge and then further move it around, you know, wherever you want to be. So we'll go ahead and we'll start stitching. You can see how closely you can get to any kind of big cord or trim. So 
So without even rolling effortlessly, I got this little piece of fabric onto this big, big trim. So that was the zipper foot. To purchase your own zippers or your zipper foot, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com or on Facebook at facebook slash sewingpartsonline.